Hello everybody, I'm Michael. Welcome to Pink Carbonara. So today we are going to take a look at this Camerata ZO bootleg toy. Yes, here we go again. Another bootleg Kamen Rider toy that I found online. Taobao, once again. This time is the bootleg Kamen Rider ZO Jikan Burado. I'm actually pretty excited for this one because as you can see, the packaging is a lot better than the last two bootleg toys that we looked at. Yeah, let's take a look at the box art first. Well, first thing first, I need to point out that this is not Kamen Rider in Chinese. Kamen Rider in Chinese is Gamin Kesi, and this one is Gamin Yongsi. Yongsi means the uh, brave. Yeah, the box art is actually pretty decent. The color looks better. It looks updated instead of, you know, the, the, the red and blue explosion thing. But of course, this is another stolen PNG with the awful crop on the photo right here. <laughs> this is like the name of the toy, but I'm not sure if the official Chinese name or if this is a, uh, you know, random translation. And there's a two or three at the back. <laughs> Where's the first two? This is a very big box, so please excuse me for, you know, not fitting the whole thing. But we can take a look at here. Si Chan, that's mean the uh, Zio gun. And this is Si Kim, the Zio sword. What? Hong Oi Sin, that's mean laser. They got a red laser? I guess so. Okay, now that's cool. The best part about this bootleg is they even include a uh, ZO toy for us. Now this is clearly from uh, the SH figure art uh, box art. You can see later that the toy is Fucking awful, it's not like this at all. my ass. It is saying that the joint can be rotated flexibly. Okay. <laughs> Just hero. More like just trash. Once again, we need to take a look at how much I spent on this shit. Holy shit, I spent around $80 on this uh, box of uh, bullet toy. I also bought the uh, official one, the official sword uh, for the comparison. So this is the sword mode and there's a button which allow you to switch into the gun mode. I actually like this toy a lot. It feels good. It feels steady. And if you insert a rider watch on the slot right here, like this, and you can do another, you know, rider watch type uh, finisher. So let's take a look at the bootleg one, shall we? Okay, let's open it up. And there you go. Look at this shit. <laughs> First of all, what is this? Why is there a uh, card here? What is this? Is this from like Ultraman? I remember there's a Ultraman who transformed with a card, right? It looks kind of like that, but I haven't seen Ultraman, so I'm not sure. And at the back is the uh, ZO Rider watch. Really, really bad quality. My God, this, <laughs> this is so bad. Look how bad the paint job is. It looks like the colors are fading away at the side. There's no paint on the belt. It's literally a white belt with nothing on it. What the fuck is this? Look at the box art. This is how it's supposed to look like. And now look at the real thing. There's two type of purple on his eyes. There's like a pink, a washed out purple here, and then a darker, deeper purple here. So they can't even keep it consistent with the shit quality. <laughs> Amazing ZO Rider Kick right here. This is the latest Rider Kick that ZO performed on uh, his uh, multiverse counterpart. Look at that. Look at that split. They are not joking when they say it's flexible because look how flexible ZO is. Look at this. Amazing pose. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the latest Rider Kick? Look at this Rider Kick. Oh my god. The spinning split Rider Kick is amazing. Oh my god, this is really bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit him like this for the rest of the video here, okay? Can you hold the card for me, please? Thank you. Now for the main dish, the bootleg weapon. At first glance, it doesn't look that bad until you compare it with the real deal. If I put it side by side like this, you can uh, certainly see the uh, the color differences uh, between them. But I must say the bootleg one is much, much more cheaper feeling. Like it's it feels like they are using the cheapest plastic that they can find because this is really, really light. I don't know if you can tell, but this is much more heavier. Yes, I think you can tell by the video. Can you? Well, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, try to turn this on. Is there a uh, button to turn on? This is the part where things started to went downhill. I cannot find the on-off switch. Is this the on-off switch right here? 
No? No. Is there no on off switch? Then what do I do with this? Do I, uh, okay, I can still change mode. Thank God I can still change mode. For the love of God, I can't seem to find a way to turn on this fucking trash. Then I realized something. Ah, I know the issue. I need battery. And so I started to look for screwdrivers to unscrew the screw. And unfortunately, the two screwdrivers that we found are all way too big. We spent like 20 minutes on this and we can't find the right screwdriver. So I guess the only way is to stop filming. Okay, guys, it turns out I don't have the right screwdriver. There's two different sizes, but the sizes are still too big. So I guess I'm gonna go back home and get my screwdriver and finish the video next time. Voila, and we're back. Yep, that's right. My clothes changed, the lighting changed, uh, my hair is different because it's been six months. <laughs> no joke. Finally, after six months, I got the battery in. And now we can test out the fucking bootleg thing. The bootleg sword. <laughs> Alright, quick reminder, the sound should be like this. So let's hear what the bootleg one sounds like. Wow. It's actually not that bad. There's a difference, but the difference is not big enough. Alright, so if we switch to the sword mode. That's how the real one sound. And so this one. Oh! Can you guys see this? Can you see this? There's a freaking laser! Oh my god, this is horrible! I can't will use this laser! Let's hear the sound first. Damn! It doesn't sound half bad once again. Okay, okay, it's actually pretty nice. I don't think there's a way to switch off the laser. There's no way you can uh, switch off the laser though. Like, oh, okay, you switch it off by uh, rotating this into the sword mode. Okay, wow. I don't think it's safe to give a child this, right? So next up, we are going to take a look at the Rider Watch. This feels so weird. Because you know the original one, when you do this, you can hear the clicking of the uh, watch. But if you rotate this, it's literally just fucking plastic. You know what I mean? Like cheap plastic rotating. Oh, wow. You guys like this? You guys, do you guys like this? You guys like this shit? Huh? Like in comparison, this is really poorly made. I can't even see the eye. I can only see the fucking, the, the light in the middle of the thing. <laughs> so I think nothing's gonna happen if I put this in. Let's see, let's see. Wait. Wait, how the fuck do you do this? Wait. What the fuck? Oh shit, I think it's stuck. How the fuck? Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh shit, I think I realized something. There is official Chinese dub and sub of Kamen Rider in uh, China. They, they redubbed the whole finisher in China for Kamen Rider. So I think that's the official sound effect for Zio. So maybe this toy is actually official one? Like maybe it's properly licensed. I thought it's a bootleg all this time, but I'm guessing not. Well, I'm actually very confused. This is such a good mystery. Maybe I should look into it someday, but uh, but anyway, let's play this shitty toy uh, by the time being. So it keeps flashing, all right? So let's try to do an attack and if I push this button nothing happened if I push this button oh you can't push this button this is not actually a button this is a uh, fixed a fixed thing but honestly this is not as bad as I thought because you have the laser I, I know it's very dangerous for a kid to play with laser but for us adult this is actually a good addition you can actually try to you know aim with this shit when you put the rider watch in it will trigger a sound effect I'm guessing that's the official dub of Camera Zio. On a second thought, there's no way this is legit. It triggered incorrect sound effects, right? If you insert the Rider Watch into the slot, it should trigger a finish time sound effect and not the henching like sequence sound effect. So what I'm guessing is that it's a bootleg, but aim for the Chinese Camera the market. So anyway, guys, that's it for the bootleg uh, sword. So um, overall, this is still shit, especially the figure. The figure 
very poorly made, pain is shit, the articulation is shit, and this fucking car thing, I don't know what is this. Anyway, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this bootleg one? Like, it seems, I'm not sure, is, is this is this an official toy? Cause can, can someone try to look this up? There's a manufacturer, Tang Xin Toys. Is that a legit company or is this a, like a shady bootleg toy company? Well, anyway, this video took long enough to make. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching guys. Goodbye